Wow, I can't believe Ren and Yuri single-handedly cured my sickness with his new song. It's a miracle. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Steph, and today, no bookish stuff. We were gonna have a, like, the super villain book tab that'll be up on Monday now. And this video, we're gonna be talking about... Can you... <laughs> can you guess what we're gonna be talking about today? Oh, yeah, it is a very panic-filled day. Will these horns stay on top of my hat? Probably not, but we're gonna try. So the day I'm filming this is Wednesday. The day that Panic at the Disco decided to spew onto us the fact that a new album is being released on June 22nd. The fact that a tour has been announced and you can buy tickets starting on later this month. <laughs> like, the fact there are two new songs out today. The fact they're going to be on Jimmy Fallon tonight, which you already knew. But, oh my god, I'm still freaking out. So much information at, at once. Oh man. With the new songs released today, there's also a music video released today. And it was a very, very good music video, let me just say. The, my jaw literally dropped when it started, like the music started, and the blood and the violence. And if you haven't watched the video yet, go check it out. I'll leave it in the icon description down below because holy shit. <laughs> that was fantastic. The reason we're talking about today, though, is not just because of how awesome it was, but because of some certain things that are implied with it. Now at the end of the video, obviously Brandon gets his ass kicked, and he's laying there like a hall, you know? <laughs> and he's laying there, and you hear the sirens coming, but you also hear something else. <laughs> Sound familiar? Because it's kind of leading into the song that is linked. The video that is linked at the end of the video, not directly linked, it's linked in playlists, but it is linked in the video. This is gospel is linked. Whoa! In the Sirius XM interview that Brandon did like right after the video dropped, he confirmed that it was the prequel to This Is Gospel, which leads into Emperor's New Clothes. It- this story is literally years and albums in the making. Like, we have been witnessing the slow burning story and my mind is gonna explode. I just can't get over the fact that it's like, that we have this connected storyline over all these different albums over all these years. It's so freaking cool! Oh my god! It's past, getting past that, I want to talk about some of my personal theories of the whole video chain. Now that we have three, now that we have three of them, I want to talk about my personal theories about what kind of led into them because there's still a mystery. What the hell is the devil's key? Why does Brennan have it? What's going on? Why does that chick want it? Like, there's many questions to be asked. I'm sorry, I'm still kind of sick, so if my voice is annoying, other than the fact that my voice is all over, always annoying, that plays a factor, so sorry. So what we know about the Demon Key from the Australian news anchor that was reporting on it, even though sometimes the music was kind of made it hard to hear her, there are still some facts we could pick up from it. It's an ancient artifact worth over $100 million. Wowza. It's sought for its power, and the original people who like owned it and had it in their possession they both feared it and protected it. It's caused the most death and destruction of mankind, like more than mankind. And mankind is pretty violent. Just, just take a peek back at history. It's pretty violent. So this thing killing more than that, it's a doozy. When the key was taken, there were casualties. It was a bloodbath. So there's a reputation with this thing, obviously. <laughs> it almost feels like this thing craves blood and it craves the disaster, which would fit with the name Demon Key very well. Now looking looking at Brendan's house in this music video, he has a pretty nice house. He obviously he's obviously up on a hill. He's overlooking something. I'm assuming LA or some big city like that. He's in the hills. He's kind of closed off from everything else. So he can have this like luxurious little lifestyle on his own. Because it appears that he lives by himself. Though he is at the beginning of the video you see that he is preparing for a lady friend to come over. <laughs> the man also has some Nice built-in built things in this house, like the giant amplifying speaker, the big pool, like there's a lot of nice details about this house, which makes you believe he lives a very luxurious lifestyle. Obviously, at the very beginning of this video, we see that he has the key. He's wearing it around his neck, so somehow he's gotten the key. From the news report in the living room, we are pushed to believe that he's the one who stole the key. So... That would make him, in this little, like, universe, some kind of thief, some kind of master thief. Someone who's able to sneak into a highly secure, protected building, 
and steals like an ancient artifact that is supposed to be very dangerous. So number one, we know Brent is some kind of master criminal for getting this key. How he found out about it, why he wanted it, and why this girl wanted it at the very end, we don't know. What we do know is that this is what led to him being thrown in the hospital between kicking some ass and getting his ass kicked, he ended up in the hospital. I'm assuming that he was already close to death when at the end of the video because we know that in this gospel it's kind of like the letting go and passing on thing but then it raises the question when you get to emperor's new clothes if he was a criminal mastermind and just a criminal in life why did he think he was gonna go to heaven because you saw that teaser at the very beginning it's like oh yeah then whoop trap door you're going to hell bitch why would a criminal go to heaven it it seems very weird so I want to take a look back at the object from the first video, the last video in the series, but you know what I mean. In Say Amen Saturday Night, we are introduced to this devil's key. And anything with devil in the title, honestly, is kind of bad. This is where my personal theories begin. Because Brendan confirmed that all three of these videos are linked. It's canon. It's it, like, it's a, it's a known thing now. Thank you, Brendan, for giving us this quality content. This key is an ancient evil. We know that. So if someone who was not necessarily completely evil before getting it started wearing it, maybe it's like the Horcrux effect where it starts to take take effect on that person's soul. It starts to take effect on that person's mind. I think Brennan did some good in his life before, while still being a criminal. Because sometimes there's those gray lines. Maybe he was on that gray line of maybe I will go to heaven, maybe I'll go to hell. Maybe I'll stay somewhere in between because... Yeah, I'm doing these bad things, but maybe I'm giving some of my proceeds to charity. This is just, like, highly skeptical, too. Maybe he's doing that. Maybe he's, like, very caring for someone else in his life. He's... Who knows what's going on, but maybe he walks that fine gray line. Enter the Devil's Key. This thing... Bad juju, okay? Like, we've already established. Devil in any title. Bad juju. I think this thing... Especially since we see him wearing it, we have no idea how long he's worn it before the video even takes place. As he's wearing it, it starts to take, wear down his soul. It starts to speak to his mind. Maybe it's like some just like, first some like casual like little d evil thoughts. And then it just gets worse. By the, by the time we see him in the Say Amen video, he's straight up murdering people. Very cleverly, I might add, but still murdering people. Of course, he doesn't kill the woman who comes in. Obviously, she was connected to Brennan. Either she wanted him to steal this for her, or he stole it to prove himself to her, or something along those lines. But once she saw it, she wanted it, and she took it. Maybe it spoke to her as well. Who knows, maybe they were in love at one point, but the key managed to, you know, ruin that because evil. When the key was ripped away from Brendan, I believe there was an evilness ripped away as well. Not necessarily all of it, I think some was left in his soul and some was pushed to the back of his mind to where he couldn't think of it, he couldn't remember it right off the bat. So when he's in the hospital, he's confused about what's happening, why is he here? He doesn't remember the darkness that consumed him when, while wearing the key. Obviously, he ends up dying from his injuries, and here he is, he's about to enter heaven. That fine gray line led him here. Unfortunately, the key pushed him over the line into the darkness, and he plummeted straight down to hell. Once in hell, during the Emperor's new clothes, we see the transformation from human to demon begin. And obviously this is a very painful process. Brandon doesn't understand what's happening at first. At first we see fear and confusion in his eyes. But as the transformation continues, you start to see that there's kind of a sneer. He's kind of like, yeah, this is what I'm becoming. I'm becoming this and I'm ready for it. Once he hits hell, once he starts his transformation, I believe the darkness began to seep out again. There's no redemption for him now. He is in hell. So... What better place for the darkness to re-emerge? He may no longer have the devil's key, but it was once a part of him, and it stuck with him, and now it's coming back out again. As he's transforming, he's remembering all that darkness. He's remembering how much he enjoyed the power, and he's realizing that he's getting more power as he's transforming. He's no longer just some mere man. He's now becoming a full-fledged demon. I think it also explains at the very end how we see that the we see him kind of sneering like. <laughs> and we see that kind of opening up like yes that is when like he it's fully come back to him he's fully transformed into this evil being that was pushed to this that was pushed there by the devil's key i like the sound of it but hey that's just a theory a bad theory thanks for watching <laughs>
I am so in love with this trilogy of videos. I'm so in love with the storytelling. Thank you, Red and Yuri. This was so fun to just talk about and theorize. And man, I want to do this more often. If you guys liked me talking about this and you want me to do it, preferably when I'm not sick and not this nasally and I don't have to keep pausing because I can't breathe, go ahead and leave a like on this video. And go ahead in the comments, tell me what you guys think about the whole connected universe of these three videos over these albums, over all these years. What do you guys think? I think it's awesome. I love thinking about it. I love just like playing it out in my head what's going on and all these different aspects of what could be happening. Man, this would be such a great story, man. Like, it's- uh, I love it so much. I also miss doing videos about bands. I know I tried it at the beginning of my channel and it was kind of hit and miss. I know I definitely want to do another album book tag as soon as Pray For The Wicked is released, which also Brennan quality title for the album I am here for it I'm so excited that cover artwork is everything and yeah that's today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it can we also mention that this was released just barely under a week to the anniversary of pretty odd and the anniversary is pretty odd is on S Sunday the 25th which is like two days away when you guys are seeing this on Friday it also ma marks a year since the last time I saw panic at the disco and I miss them <laughs> And the fact that this tour is not going to be coming close to me, I'm so heartbroken. <laughs> I can't wait. The second leg of tour, hopefully there will be a second leg. Hopefully I'll see them or hopefully they'll, they'll, they'll do their little bar crawl and somehow end up in my city and I'll sneak my way in. That would be great. <laughs> I'd love to do more band videos like this. I hope you guys want to see more band videos like this. I'm going to stop talking now because it's really hard to talk. That's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you have a lovely day. I hope you guys have a lovely day slash night and I'll see you later.